right, what we're going to work on here is how to name binary and ternary compounds using the stock system. First of all, we're going to use a very simple compound like NaCl. When naming binary compounds or ternary compounds using the stock system, all we do is we name the cation first and the anion second. In this case, the cation is sodium. So we simply name it first, and then we name the anion. In this case, Cl is the chloride anion. So we name it second. So the name of this compound is sodium chloride. If we try something different, like Al2S3, well, the name of this compound is very simple because Al is the aluminum ion and S is the sulfide. Anion. So the name of this compound is aluminum sulfide. Now what can be tricky is if you get a hold of elements that are in the transition, um, transition groups because those elements can have more than one possible charge in some cases. A good example of that is copper. Copper, you can have a copper with a plus one charge which is called copper one or copper which has a plus two charge, which is called copper two. Well, you have to indicate which type of copper that you're using. Example here would be CuCl or CuCl2. Now, I know in this copper, I'm using copper one because the chloride anion always has a negative one charge. And since it's in a one-to-one -one ratio with the copper, this must be copper one. So we call this copper one chloride. This copper though, the chlorine is in a two-to-one ratio. So I must be using copper two in this compound. So the name of this compound would be copper 2 chloride. Now, if I'm using a polyatomic, then I know I have a ternary compound. An example would be LiOH. I know I have a ternary compound, I'm using a polyatomic, because there is more than two elements in this formula. Well, I know that Li is the lithium ion. And OH is what we call the hydroxide ion. So the name of this compound would be lithium hydroxide. Okay? Um, Again, we'll try another one. Let's say I have a compound such as NH4-2O. Again, I know I have a ternary compound because I have more than two elements. I know that NH4 is the ammonium ion. And O is the oxide ion. So the name of this compound would be ammonium oxide. This is how we name binary and ternary compounds using the stock system.